this weekend, F1 makes its long-awaited return to its original night race. Yes, it's back, the Singapore Grand Prix. Which means it's time to once again answer that question that not many people have asked before, which is, can you beat the AI racing around the circuit backwards as they go the right way around? The challenge is very simple. At the start of the race, I spin the car around 180 degrees and I race around the circuit going in the wrong direction, trying to beat the AI who are of course going the right way around. It's going to be an interesting challenge and if you do enjoy this challenge and this video, please do of course as always smash the like button down below and subscribe for more F1 content much like this. Anyway, it's time now for the race to get underway and it's lights out and away we go and we get off to a decent start. We spin the car around uh, pretty well actually and it's fair to say that Singapore in reverse as you're going to see is a very difficult challenge. It's probably the toughest race uh, so far but um, yeah, that, that was uh, our first incident. So uh, we're just going to restart the race and uh, try again. So we'll uh, try that again. It's lights out and away we go this time around. Hopefully this time we don't mess it up on the first lap. So as I was just about to say, yes, yeah, Singapore in reverse is an interesting challenge. You're about to see just in reverse how much more difficult this circuit is uh, versus when you go the right way around. And you can see here just how much tighter some of these corners are. This part's not too different uh, going the wrong way around versus the right way around. But then this corner here. It's so much tighter. You've got to go so much slower than you do when you go around the right way. And also, of course, with it being the wrong way around, yeah, you've kind of got to make up your own braking zones and hope for the best. And with it being a street circuit, it's actually not very easy to see what the uh, right way to go is around some of these corners. And uh, it's actually very easy to get lost when you go the wrong way around uh, the streets of Singapore. But here we go now into the first part where we are going to be meeting the AI is at the Singapore Sling and um, yeah pr predictably first time around we we have a bit of an incident first time around uh, but hopefully now that we've just done the flashback we're going to hopefully make it through this time no no we don't no we didn't make it through didn't make it through this time we tried a different line of course the first time we went to the right side this time we went to the left side we're going to try and go to the right again and uh, another crash what about the right side again uh, no Crash. This time we're gonna stick. No. Yeah, it's not very easy. It's not very easy. But this time we're gonna stick to the left side, and we actually made it. We made it, guys. We made it through. But this time with two drivers going wheel to wheel there at the Singapore Sling, we almost, almost collided into him. And uh, this is the bit that I was saying where actually when you're going the wrong way around, it's very easy to get lost there. I thought the corner went left, not right there. And then this time I thought this was a right-hander instead of a left-hander. And uh, yeah, it's very easy to do that and make those mistakes around Singapore. Uh, just because with the way that the runoff works on this circuit, it's very easy to think the runoff is, um, well, it's, it's where you're supposed to go. But obviously you're not supposed to go down the way uh, where the runoff is, but it's very easy to go down there by mistake. <laughs> So yeah, Singapore in reverse is tricky just because it looks like you could go the wrong way very easily. And also the corners are very, very difficult when you're going the wrong way around. But that is a lap of Singapore in reverse. We kind of survived. Uh, we only had a few incidents, so that wasn't too bad. We could have had more crashes than we actually did. So uh, yeah, that's positive, I guess. Anyway, you can see now we're on the run down to the Anderson Bridge. And when we get over the Anderson Bridge, it of course takes us to the Singapore Sling section, which is where we did have the incident before, and we've had a slight incident there with Verstappen. I think Verstappen hit us there, but we didn't take any damage, so that doesn't count towards the incidents, but Yuki Tsunoda and, and Lance Stroll had a big incident with us, as did the Williams there crashing into Lance Stroll afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to wait for them, and that's exactly what we do. We have to wait for them. We can't really do anything about it. Now. There's nowhere we can go. Uh, yeah, we kind of just had to wait for them and wait for them to come through. Because, yeah, we couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't go to the left because obviously there's a wall. And we couldn't go to the right because, well, all the cars were already there. And if we committed to the inside, we'd have probably not been able to make it as well. So, yeah, we were kind of shafted there. We kind of just had to wait for them uh, to all go through. And uh, this is another section that I had to find quite tricky in reverse, which was Raffles Boulevard. Um, I know that sounds silly because it is a flat-out kink, 
Um, but for some reason, I kind of thought there may, the corner may have been tighter than it was, so I did kind of lift off a couple of times. And then here, going through turn one, yeah, I might have cut that corner a little bit. It just has to be said. It was a slight cut, anyway. And uh, anyway, now we complete lap number two. And through we go. Oh, we almost had an incident there with Nicholas Gotipi, the weapon of mass destruction in this series, uh, falling off the back of the field like only he knows how to do. And because of that, we almost smashed straight into him. And we almost hit Charles Leclerc there as well. And uh, we just avoided Charles Leclerc. And now we're going to be able to make it through here. No, no, we but here comes Sebastian Vettel! We didn't make it through, and uh, Sebastian Vettel decided to join in in the incidents, and uh, this time we had to just slow down and wait for them to all go through like we did last lap. Um, yeah, so that was a slight unfortunate incident, and there was Max. I almost forgot about Max. It was very easy to do, very easy to forget that he's there, because he's obviously had to dive into the pits. Um, and yeah, because of that, we almost uh, just smashed into him without remembering that he was there so anyway guys i just want to say if you are enjoying this series please do of course smash the like button down below drop a comment down below and if you haven't already of course subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot of f1 content we got more preview and predictions coming your way uh, of course we've got the japanese grand prix next weekend as well so we're going to be doing preview and predictions for that video uh, sorry for that race weekend and we also have my team career mode it's great to see that my team career mode is slowly improving um, we're starting to get a bit more traction with those videos. You guys are enjoying the My Team videos. I'm enjoying recording them. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, please do drop a like and subscribe down below for more of that F1 goodness. Now back to that, and we almost, almost have an incident there with Max Verstappen. And here through we go now through the Singapore Sling section. We have a slight incident with Charles Leclerc, but not enough of one to count as an incident for us. Are we going to survive through here this time? We do, and Latifi almost, almost piles into us. We had a slight incident there with Charles Leclerc, but it was not enough of an incident to class as a crash counter. So we do get through a lap without an incident. And look at that. Did you see that there? That was Perez trying to overtake Lewis Hamilton. Let's take a look at that on the replay. Here comes Sergio Perez. Hamilton goes wide. Hamilton runs wide. And that gives me the opportunity, sorry, gives Perez the opportunity to run down the inside on Lewis Hamilton. But he has to, he just has to part, it's like Moses parting the sea there with, um, <laughs> yes, like Moses parting the sea there with me coming through there. Uh, Hamilton and Perez both getting out of the way of us and uh, letting us go through there. So that was really good of the AI to do that. I didn't actually know they'd be able to do that, but, uh, yeah, it seems like in the latest patch they have improved the AI somewhat. So, yeah, I think if that was pre-patch, um, we'd have been smashed and straight into Perez there. Just like we smashed into George Russell as he couldn't see us coming there. <laughs> so, yeah, one more for the crash counter. Up to nine incidents. And we do survive, though. The rest of the uh, rest of it. Can we get through the whole Singapore sling? We don't. No. No, we don't. Made it into double figures, and that's ten crashes for the crash counter. And this time around, we do slow down enough as Latifi. Latifi, I don't really know what he's trying to do there, but it didn't work out for him. And, oh, we almost have an incident with Charles Leclerc there. But now, coming around the last couple of corners, George Russell is going to win the reverse race. We absolutely did not beat the AI around this circuit. They are so much faster than us. We're not going to score any points. And we have an incident with... Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. We have an incident with George Russell and Esteban Ocon to round off the video. Just as you would like to see George Russell. They were so busy celebrating. He didn't see us coming and we, we hit him. So guys, if you did enjoy that video, as I said up below... So guys, if you did enjoy that video, please do drop a like down below. And subscribe to the channel for more F1 content. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.